Begin with breaking news this morning. A dramatic rescue unfolds after a man falls off the side of I-40 West into the cold water below. It's happening at the Stones River Greenway near Percy Priest Dam in Hermitage. And that's where we find News Channel 5's Cuthbert Langley this morning. And Cuthbert, this was just a guy who stopped on the side of the road and, and just tried to help out a stranded motorist. Absolutely, Amy. He was just driving by. He saw this crash happen. He went and talked to uh, just somebody who was on the side of the road who says, hey, I think one of the cr crash victims, the driver, went over the guardrail. He went over thinking it was just a simple guardrail and not a bridge, and he fell to his death. And this is what the scene looked like soon thereafter. You can see rescue crews basically wheeling this guy into the ambulance. They rushed him to Vanderbilt Medical Center this morning, but he was pronounced dead on arrival. So basically what happened here is that a, a suspect we now know what it has been charged with a DUI crashed on the bridge the Good Samaritan drove by went to go check out everything to make sure things were okay and that's when he was told hey I think this guy might have fallen over just the guardrail nobody up there realized that it was a bridge according to police and that's when the man fell more than 100 feet to his death now that driver has been arrested and charged with DUI as I said his name is Nathan Albright he has just been booked into the criminal justice center within the last hour or so but let's come back out here to the second camera we have second uh, we have set up right over here. You can see the distance I'm talking about there from the top of the bridge down to the river. It's about 100 feet or so. And one thing you notice, there are no lights on that bridge at all. And it was about 2 a.m. when this happened. So it is a very dark night. Nobody could really see anything. And that's what police say. This guy just didn't realize he was on top of a bridge before falling. So absolutely tragic this morning. Of course, our hearts go out to his family. Now, we have not heard his identity yet. Uh, police are still interviewing uh, everyone to try to get a better idea idea of what happened and his next kin is in the process of being notified. Of course, we'll have much more information throughout the day, but for now we're live here near Hermitage this morning. I'm Cuthbert Langley, News Channel 5 HD. Cuthbert, thank you. A man is behind bars after a brief standoff with police. It happened at a home on Lund Drive in North Nashville yesterday morning. A woman told police that she was sexually assaulted by a man inside. SWAT team was called out and Jerome Burns was taken into custody. It's unclear what charges he faces. A convicted murderer back in jail this morning after leading police on a chase through an apartment complex in reverse. The story just in this morning. 34-year-old Tremaine Campbell is facing 14 charges, including serious drug and weapons charges. Police pulled him over after spotting him on Buena Vista Pike, but Campbell threw the car in reverse and drove backwards through an apartment complex. He ditched the car and ran off through a wooded area, throwing some items on the ground before he fell into a ditch. Police arrested him and found a gun on the ground, more than 100 prescription pills and two pounds of pot in his car. And aside from these charges, Campbell was already wanted for domestic violence and theft. Campbell was convicted of second degree murder nearly 10 years ago. Woodland Hills escapee and accused TSU shooter DeMario Fisher will likely have to face his charges as an adult. Fisher appeared yesterday in juvenile court. He faces a long list of charges, including attempted homicide. The judge decided there's enough probable cause to consider trying him as an adult for allegedly robbing and shooting a TSU student near campus. Assistant District Attorney says that's the safest option for the public and would get Fisher the kind of help he needs. He's being held at the Criminal Justice Center this morning, the Metro Jail. A judge will make his final decision next month. A Springfield woman murdered by her husband will be laid to rest tomorrow. Investigators say Joseph Parker admitted to a 911 dispatcher that he shot Samantha Parker and put her body in a freezer. That call led to a day-long search for Parker. It ended when he shot himself during a brief standoff. Samantha Parker was just 44 years old. Visitation will be held from 3 until 9 tomorrow at the Austin and Bell Funeral Homes Greenbrier Chapel. She will be laid to rest at Calvary Baptist Church. Man is off the hook for a crime he didn't commit. For the last two weeks, the Nashville man sat in jail facing charges of attempted murder. It took Michael Evans' lawyers, not the police, piecing together the evidence to prove investigators got the wrong guy. Evans has no criminal record other than traffic violations, but a bad tip and a case of mistaken identity landed him behind bars, accused of trying to kill someone in a store he had never been to before. For something I haven't done, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish that on anybody to sit there for something I haven't done for even a day. I mean, and I had to stay for 13. 
The charges have now been dismissed, but it's going to take several weeks at least for his record to be expunged. Evans lost his job while he was in jail, but he can't apply for any jobs with felony charges on his record. Metro Police have now opened a new investigation into that case. And happening today, postal workers will stage a rally at the state capitol. They want to make the public aware of possible upcoming closures of postal facilities all across the country. And they say if the closures go through, it will mean slower service. That rallies from 3 until 5 this afternoon. And Tennessee's embattled Education Department Commissioner is leaving. Governor Bill Haslam says Kevin Huffman is resigning to work in the private sector. Huffman's leadership has been criticized. Back in June, a letter signed by 15 Republicans demanded he resign, citing complaints from school administrators, teachers, and students. Nashville Mayor Carl Dean has picked up a major honor. Dean is this year's recipient of the 2014 Joe Kraft Humanitarian Award. They call him the It Man for the It City. He was selected for his work promoting health and improving schools in Music City. When accepting the award, Mayor Dean said the honor was not about him, but about the great community of Nashville. Previous honorees include Governor Phil Bredesen and John Siegenthaler.